All right, everyone, today is an exciting day because we're going to be checking out the Ultimate Custom Night voice lines. You guys highly requested this video, so I'm bringing it to y'all. Don't say I never do things for you guys. I do things for you all the time. I'm excited about this because I don't think we're going to be playing Ultimate Custom Night. I don't think I have to play it uh, lore-wise, so I'm going to be skipping that game. But it is nice to be able to hear the voices for all of these characters. We're going to be checking out the compilation by Net Bionic. Shouts out to Net Bionic. All of their links will be in the description down below. My friend sent me this video and and he said it was good, so I'm gonna watch this. Before we jump into the video, hit that like button. I would truly appreciate it. it. Helps me on the YouTube algorithm. You guys already know how it works. Let's jump into the reaction. Okay, here we are. We're starting it off hot with some Foxy. All voices from Ultimate Custom Night. This is the remake. Apparently, Net Bionic remade this video, so let's see how the remake holds itself together. <laughs> Never underestimate the cunning of a pirate. Or a fox, for that matter. <laughs> okay, this is a great pirate voice. I love this. You never stood a chance. Perfect for Foxy. Arr, I came for ye booty. That be treasure, you know. Oh. I can't run like I used to. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure it's not more than treasure? I don't know, Foxy. That was a little sus. But I can pull myself apart just fine. Arr, so much more spacious in here. I may stay a while. Oh, God. Please that don't. That game was totally rigged. That's what you get for leaving me hanging. Aww. The Toy Freddy's adorable sounding. Okay. I like this voice for Toy Freddy. It was totally rigged. <laughs> That's what you get for leaving me hanging. Oh. If I get jump scared, you get jump you scared. You jump scare me all the time, though, Mr. Freddy. Mr. Hugs got me again. It's not my fault. Wait, who is Mr. Hugs? Wait, what? <laughs> Paul, I have these fat plastic fingers and can't press my buttons. You won't Sad. get tired of dying, will you? Oh Wait, my god. Weak? Lodged in your forehead, of course. Jeez. You won't get tired of my voice, will you? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go somewhere more private. Toy Chica saying this? The film for tall. Oh my god. They got freaking Toy Chica sounding hot. What is up with that? So I can eat you. That's crazy. Don't be afraid. Soon you will look just like me. Beautiful. No. Now I get to play take apart and put back together. You won't feel a thing. Okay, I didn't know Mangle was this terrifying. Now, I've been jump scared a few times in FNAF 2 by F my Mangle, but hearing Mangle's voice, this is like six times more terrifying. Uh, okay. I wanted to wait until just the right moment to drop in. I know, you do it. It's so much more fun to eat out in here with you. That line right there, me off, bro. It me off after playing FNAF 2 and just seeing her on the ceiling bro when she gets into your room and she's just sitting on the ceiling it's like bro i just want to punch the screen man oh uh oh seeing you powerless is like music to me i don't hate you but you need to stay out of my way oh puppet sounds I adorable but I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. The Yikes. others are under my protection. Puppet holds the, the team together. Are like animals, but I am very aware. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, Withered Bonnie. So now I have a name for Bonnie. I kept calling Bonnie a T-Rex in FNAF 2, but it's Withered Bonnie. Okay. Why is this new prison? Is it me trapped or is it you? Perhaps it is us both. Oh wow. I love the effect on the voice. It's perfect. I never thought I would be able to do that event, but now we are together. That is something that I did not want to hear. Withered Chica is 10 times more terrifying. Let me show you how to break your face and look like me. Hey, how come Withered Chica can't sound like Toy Chica? Come closer. Let's smile together. 
Chica said she was the first. Oof. I am remade, but not by you. Nightmare Freddy. By the one you should not have killed. Oh, he sounds epic. No light can save you now. I have always been hiding in your shadow. What a gift to relish. A victim that can't perish. I am given flesh. To be your tormentor. God. That's a great voice. back together and take you apart all over again. Hey, yo. Hold on. Nightmare Fred Bear? Let's not. Holy. Go back. To be your I thought Nightmare Freddy was bad. Let me put you back together and take you apart all over again. Jeez. Let's see how many times you can be pulled apart. I assure you, I am very real. He has teeth this in his time, stomach. There is more than an illusion to fear. This is from FNAF 4, we though. I haven't gotten to that game yet. Friends are, and you are not one of them. Okay, but in FNAF 4, they are going after uh, William Afton's son, right? Michael? That, 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 that's Michael in that game, right? Or am I wrong? Nightmare. Fears me. I am your wickedness made of flesh. Jeez. I am here to claim what is left of you. I will vomit you back to relieve your horror. Vomit you back? Did things get really hot in here? Or is That's it dark. Just me? I am what I burn with. Jacko Chica. That for Halloween edition? That sounds cool. And now you shall as well. I am a burning reminder of your misdeeds. Greetings from the fire and from the one you should not have killed. Wow, that was Whoa! Alex! No way! Alex did voice acting in this? Oh, that is awesome! Okay, so Alex, I'm a huge Persona fan, by the way. In Persona 3 Reload, which is the new Persona 3 remake, Alex is actually going to be voicing the protagonist, Minato. I'm very excited for that. Alex, shouts out to you. I can't believe this! Alex has come a far way, has come a long way. Oh God! Let Teddy's death again and again and again. I am the fearful reflection of what you have created. Yo, if this thing is in FNAF 4, dude, back to back to back, all of these FNAF 4 animatronics and monsters are terrifying. I'm gonna hate that game. Come closer. This one's in FNAF 4 too? Count my teeth. <laughs> You're not so big. Just a butt-sized morsel. <laughs> That's what she said. You knew I'd get you eventually. There just isn't room in here for both of us. <laughs> Flash that light on the vault. It can't save you now. Jeez. Looks They're coming like after you. Something bad happened. I guess you forgot about me. Turk's baby. I guess you forgot about me. Want to see the scooping room? I could hear you. Oh, I remember um, from Matt Pat's video them talking about the scooping room. Uh, not fun. I don't want to go there. But Sister Location, I hear, is a really good game. And that voice for Circus Baby, A plus, spot on. That's exactly how I would expect Circus Baby to sound like. Breathing. Admit it. You wanted to let me in. Why do you hide inside these walls? Don't be shy. These are strange circumstances that have brought us together. It seems you couldn't make it to my show, so I brought the show to you. Show times are on the hour, not a moment before and not a moment later. 
Yo, Funtime Foxy actually seems really fun. He's a commentator. Let's go. It's time to take your final bow. I love this, Foxy. I'm sorry, but there was never enough room on this stage for both of us. A performance was demanded of me, and now I have delivered. Encore! I love it! Yeah! I have something to tell you. Hey, hey, I want to tell you something. Psst. Hey, over here. Get closer. Excuse me. Can you come huh? a little closer? No. Hey. What the heck is number one crate? And why are they whispering to you? And what is the acronym FFPS? Hello, I wanted Which game is that? Something. It's something really important. Please deposit five coins. Please deposit five coins. Oh, is this the pizzeria simulator game? Is it that one? Oh, I've seen so many people say this is one of their favorite games. Please deposit five coins. You are attempting to trick Freddy. You are attempting to... Freddy doesn't like this. Thank you what? for depositing five coins. <laughs> you have to give Freddy coins in that game? Dude, I love this body. I told you guys, body's one of my favorite. This is my favorite body right here. Just from the singing alone. So good to see you again. Yes! <laughs> but now your life must end. Sing, buddy, sing. What a fine day to come here and say that your face and flesh I must play. <laughs> what a treat to come here and me. Oh my your god. Face and it's concrete. My favorite I animatronic. Epically and don't you brutal. Come back now, you hear? That'll teach you for trying to trick this old bird. <laughs> you could fool me with that sign, but I was too smart for you. So Chica's got like a country accent here. I love it. I may not like wet floors, but the smell of fresh meat is just too enticing. <laughs> Whoops! Looks like you're the one that slipped up this time. Why does Chica have Chica, maracas? What can I do for you? Yarg, how may I be of service to ya? Yar, who touched me bird? <laughs> Yar, me bird likes you. Yar. So I'll do ye a favor. Yar, ye win some, ye lose some. Yar, ye play with fire and sometimes ye get burned. Does Foxy, like, is he friends with us in this one? I will be making music together for a long, long time. Hmm. You hear that? It's the sweet, sweet sound of your eternal silence. Music man. Hey, keep it down, would ya? When I'm here, you play by my rules. A song was requested of me. And now I sing it. I want to hear his songs. Don't get distracted. I'm ready for my close-up. Smile. Say cheese. Today is all about me, me, me. Oh my god, this chick is cute. Control shock. Let's see how many pieces I can cut you into. You won't die, but you'll wish you could. Oh my god, scrap baby, chill. It will all be over soon. Lefty is really scary sounding. This sounds like the lefty in the interview that we saw. There is room for one more. Shh. Come spend eternity inside with me. Shh. I've been looking for you. And now I will never let you go. Shh. This is terrifying. I'm so My God, I love the little shh. <laughs> that in itself is terrifying. I always oh. come back. Scrap uh -oh, trap. How unfortunate. Uh oh, how unfortunate. Is this a balloon girl? Hello? I'm gonna do a sneaky thing and throw a new contender in the ring. Ah, uh -oh, it's just adorable. How unfortunate. Uh oh. How unfortunate. Okay. I know how much you like to fight, so we'll add a new problem to your night. Yeah! I bet you're expecting me. Where 
happy yeah. frog. Turn your back for one second and I'm like, well, you, ninja skills. You and I don't get to talk as often as I'd like. Aww. Everyone underestimates me. But then they turn their back and I'm like, boo. And they're like, what? <laughs> Move over, Freddy Fazbear. Happy Frog is the new star of the show. Adorable. We've only just begun. I will never let you leave. I will never let you rest. All right. Well, Happy Frog was pretty adorable until that line. Oh, I love that. Don't the little echo in the back. By obscure secondary characters? Stranger danger. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to drop your guard. Oh. Whoops. That's going to leave a mark. What this the is heck is feels. this? And you get to experience it over and over and over again. Who's that person whispering in the background? Forever. I will never let you leave. Whoa. What did you think of my act? I don't get out much, so you'll have to forgive my enthusiasm. I hope you enjoyed the grand finale. Orville now Elephant. Now is my time to shine. He tried to release you. He tried to release us. But I'm not going to let that happen. I will hold you here. I will keep you here. No matter how many times... Wait, is that like the kids talking in the background? It's like they're talking through the animatronic. Uh, this they is kind of cool. Us. I consider it a dignified You said they burn death. us. Not really. It was actually quite pathetic. Pig patch. Okay, we play in the banjo. by the river long enough, you will see the body of your enemy float by. <laughs> I love his voice. <laughs> <laughs> with a little banjo. Even monkeys fall from trees. Hey, yo, what? No. A nail that sticks out gets hammered down. <laughs> Every time he drops the a line. The hawk hides his claws. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one's Mr. Hippo. Mr. Hippo has his own like. My friend, Whoa! you have met a terrible, terrible. Hey, yo, what's going on with Mr. Hippo? Whoa! There's like ten minutes of just Mr. Hippo. About demise, but uh, you know, I I don't feel too bad about it. After all, if if it weren't for me, it would have just been from someone else. You know, I guess what I'm trying to say is life life goes on. Yeah. Well, well from for everyone else, life goes on. Not not for you. You're. You're dead. Oh, well, thanks. That's neither here nor there. It reminds me of one summer day in the park. I was having just a delightful... He's just going off on a rant. He's telling a story right now. ...picnic with my good friend Orville. And I said to him, I said, Orville, I... Mr. Hippo's all over the place, man. He reminds me of myself. I have a story. And he said to me, what's the significance of the story? And... I said to him, Orville, not every uh, story has to have significance, you know? Sometimes, uh, oh, you know, sometimes a okay. story is just a story. If you try to read into every little thing and find meaning in everything anyone says, you'll just drive yourself crazy. I had a friend He's do preaching. it once. Wasn't pretty. We talked about it for years. And not only that, but you'll likely end up believing something you shouldn't believe and Thinking something you shouldn't think, or, or assuming something you shouldn't assume, you know? Sometimes, I said, uh, a story is, is just a story. So just be quiet for one second of your life and eat your sandwich, okay? Of course, Excuse it, you? it was only then I realized I made sandwiches, and poor Orville was having such difficulty eating it. I bet! Elephants have those clumsy hands, you know? Actually, I, I suppose that's the problem. He doesn't really have, have hands. hands at all, do they? Yeah, exactly. They're, they're all feet. And yeah. I, I couldn't imagine someone asking me to eat a sandwich with my feet. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a bakery nearby. I said to... Hey, now we're talking about a bakery? This man went from a sandwich to a bakery? He's all over the place. Him, Orville, oh, let me go get you some rye bread. Now, I'm unsure if elephants enjoy rye bread, but... I assure you that Orville does. Now, this was on a Tuesday, okay. which was good because rye bread was always fresh on Tuesday. They made sourdough bread on Monday and threw it out Wednesday. 
or rather they sold it at a discount for people wanting to feed the ducks and then okay. probably at the end of the day finally they threw it all out. I, I don't recall. I do remember a man who would bring his son to the bakery every Wednesday and then go feed the ducks. He would buy all of the sourdough bread. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to feed the ducks sourdough bread at all. This is uh, this is literally like talking to your grandparents, bro. Like this is like I'm talking to my grandfather right now. It swells up in their stomach and then they all die. It, okay. Uh, at least at least that's what I've heard. You know, yeah. I I never saw any ducks die myself, but I did notice a substantial decrease in the duck population over right, the course on of ducks? a few years. I just never thought to stop the man and tell him that he was killing the ducks by feeding them sourdough bread. And if you want my opinion on the matter, <laughs> and I told Orville this as well, if you want to feed ducks or birds or any kind seed. for that matter, it's best to buy seed. seed. I mean, when you think about it, breads of any sort don't occur in nature. No. They don't grow on trees or spring up from the bushes. We make bread. I don't think birds know what to do with bread. What was I saying? Oh, oh yes, yes. So I bought Orville some rye bread. What a fine day it was. Well, uh, it seems that your journey... He's just, he keeps going. Ended. Very sorry about that. It was it was always going to end this way, of course. Is he like the if commentator of this me, game? Would have just been by some other... Or the narrator? You know, terrible thing. Just You could not imagine how terrible it would be. Just, I get scared thinking about it. Glad it's not me. It reminds me of a of a time I was speaking to my good friend Orville. He loves Orville, we were, man. We were sitting on a park bench watching the pigeons. I was we went on from the pigeons. Left, we went from ducks the, to pigeons. Was I on the right or left? Anyways, it doesn't matter. We were sitting on there watching the pigeons. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I said to Orville, friend, those birds are frozen. And he kind of looked at me like I lost my mind. But I reminded him that it was winter, you know, and... Often birds will sit in a tree until they freeze, and then they, they, you know, sort of fall to the ground until the sun warms up, and, and they can, you know, move around again. So Is, is that how that works? Orville, you'd might <laughs> I didn't know that. those breadcrumbs until the birds thaw, because they the can't birds very well enjoy them in the condition they're in. To which he asked what I meant, and asked yeah, him what, what do you condition mean? the crumbs should be in before he threw them to the birds, assuming that I meant the birds couldn't enjoy the breadcrumbs in the condition that the crumbs were in, when in fact I had meant the birds could not enjoy them in the condition that the birds were in, considering right. that the birds were frozen. I didn't you know, know birds so freeze. He took a moment and then threw his last handful onto the ground. I said to him, Orville, why did you throw the breadcrumbs to the birds when I just told you they're frozen? Dang. To which he responded, the breadcrumbs are not frozen. Again, misunderstanding my words. I didn't the mean bread to say crumbs that the breadcrumbs were frozen when I said I told you they're frozen. I'd been referring to the birds. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, what, what I should have said was, and this would make perfect sense, okay. why did you throw the breadcrumbs to the birds when the birds are frozen? He misunderstood upon my correction, stating that he didn't know what else to do with the breadcrumbs and that perhaps, you know, when the birds thawed, they'd still be able to eat the crumbs. Fair so enough. So I, I, I said to Orville, I said, and this is what I said to him, I said, Orville, know. the birds may be dead. Oh. Uh, it <laughs> seems that you have met a, a horrible demise, what? my friend. But, uh, you know, these They weren't frozen, these they were dead. In, in life, life goes on. Not for you, obviously. You're you're dead. But uh, it like when you fail, does he talk to you? I was I was having a conversation with my friend Orville. We were uh, where were we? I think we were by the we the the river. We were <laughs> sitting by the river and watching the fish leap over the falls. Yeah. And uh, I I said to Orville, you know, sometimes I feel like a fish leaping over and over again. Always trying to get somewhere. Ducks, well, pigeons. I don't know where, only to birds, find myself in the fish. jaws of a beast. He, of course, looked at me uh, surprised, you know? Have you been in the jaws of a beast, friend? To which I said, no, of course not, Orville. I said, no, 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 no. I, I simply meant that life can seem like a relentless endeavor to overcome meaningless obstacles only to meet an equally meaningless fate, regardless of your efforts, regardless Sometimes of it'd be like the that. obstacles you've passed. And uh, Orville, he, he stood and proceeded to drape me 
with a picnic cloth, to which I, 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 I asked him, I said, Friend, what, what are you doing? He looked at me very concerned, really. I feel like you've gotten too much sun. Indeed. What? <laughs> Indeed I had. He proceeded to pour me a glass of just ice-cold lemonade. Ooh, you ever mix it with iced tea? That's good. Like a little half lemonade, half... Ooh, it's so... You That's should good. try it some... Well, you can't because you're dead. But anyways, Bur so you may be asking yourself, okay. how did I go from sitting by the falls and drinking lemonade to being wedged in the air duct? Not only with Orville, but with an entire assortment of fruity-colored friends. Well... He said an entire assortment of fruity colored friends. <laughs> is, uh, is really I no love good him. That, but perhaps I met a demise of my own at some point, and this is my afterlife or my dream, whatever it might mean. I, I honestly don't know. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, oh my God! It seems keep going. That you have met your end. Uh, what a you died thing. again. You know, I I don't feel too bad about it though. Why? After all, if it weren't me, it would have just been one of the others, I guess. And I'm honestly just glad to be out of those air ducts. You know, it's it's not easy for a hippopotamus to fit up there. Yeah, and how do you fit in the air ducts? Easy to get down either, and not as young as I used to be. As you we can, can tell. See. I used yeah, to do no. all the sorts of things. You're young, you're vibrant. You have that sort of pep in your step. Uh, it reminds me of a conversation I was having with one of my good friends, Orville. We were having a nice picnic one day. I believe it was summer. No, perhaps it was... What? Was it the fall? Yes, yes, yes. It was the fall because the leaves had turned already. But I said to Orville, I, I says, Orville, I have a story to tell you. And Orville looked at me you know, kind of odd, and, and said, well, what's it about? I, I said to him, not every story has to be about something, Orville. Sometimes a person just wants to talk. Why does everything what? have to be a story, I said to him. He just looked at me, and he said, well, you, you, you said you had a story, and, you know, he was quite right. I did, in fact. I told him I had a story. Yes, you did. I suppose if a person just wants to talk, then it's best to not announce that you're telling a story. Right. Well, the story does come with its own pressures and expectations, I I suppose. After it does. All, if you're just talking to a friend, and there's no more expectations than if you were talking into the wind. Words by themselves aren't expected to carry, aren't expected to stick. But if, you know, if you announce you're telling a story, well then, there'd better be a point to it all, you know? No one wants to sit and listen to someone ramble on and on and on with absolutely no end in sight. So, you know. Yeah, you're right. You are right, my hippo friend. They don't. And that's what you're doing right now. You no, know, it's, it's good to be mindful that when you tell someone that you're about to tell a story, that you have something to say. Yeah. Telling someone that you're going to tell them a story is tantamount to asking them to stop what they're doing and, and pay attention. Uh huh. You're basically saying, hey, 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 buddy, stop everything. Stop what you're thinking. I have a solution to everything. And, well, I didn't really have any story to tell. In, in hindsight, I, I probably just misspoke when I said that I had a story. I think it would have just been better to tell Orville that I wanted to tell him something. Right in the than Winnie the Pooh is this guy? But you know, even then, it might have put too much importance on the whole thing. Either way, it was quite a nice day. I remember, I remember that we were drinking tea. All right. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so it seems like we listened to all the voice lines that are in the ultimate custom night. That was absolutely hilarious. I wasn't expecting my hippo friend there to be talking for at least like 11 minutes straight, bro. I don't know what those stories were about. I don't know why he goes on rants like that. Obviously, it's probably because he's older than everybody else compared to the other animatronics. He's an old man. So he's got he's to go on with these rants, right? My question to you guys, is he in the game? Like, does he give you stories every time you die or something like that? Or 
I don't know how it works. So it seems like all of the animatronics in this video were talking to William. So it seems like you are playing as William. You're playing as William in Ultimate Custom Night. You're not playing as Michael. I was thinking, I think I was right about Michael being played in FNAF 4, but in Ultimate Custom Night, I think you're playing as William, not Michael, which explains why all of the animatronics are like talking to you in a, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna torment you. You shouldn't have killed us. You shouldn't have killed that first one. I'm the second one, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, this, this video definitely hit knowing that. I, I started to realize that like halfway into the video. I would have to say most of the voices in this were very fitting. There was probably like one or two that I wasn't really a big fan of. One of them being Jacko Chica. I felt like Jacko Chica was a little too like loud. I don't know. I didn't really like the sound effects that they used for her voice. Other than that, all of them were great. That being said, I enjoyed this video. It was great. Thank you guys for requesting this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below any thoughts any or answer any questions that I had in the video. All of that, I would really appreciate it. And also subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Don't miss a video. Join us. Be one of us. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.